Have you ever wondered how you can create a screen print effect in Illustrator? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andre Marius. I've been working in Illustrator for over 10 years. And in this Envato Task Plus tutorial, I'll show you step by step how you can create the screen print text effect using Adobe Illustrator. To complete this tutorial, you'll need this illustration and this font. Both of these assets come from Envato Elements, so make sure to check out Envato Elements, where with a simple subscription you can get unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets, such as music, graphics, photos, fonts, and many more. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. Let's move to Illustrator to create a new document. Select pixels from this drop-down menu. Set the width to 1290 and the height to 800 pixels. Make sure that the color mode is set to RGB and the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. Then you can click this button to create your new document. Press Ctrl and minus to zoom out a bit. And before we start the work on the design, let's open the panels that will be used throughout this tutorial. All you have to do is go to window in the menu bar. Make sure that the control panel is active and then open the appearance panel, the color panel, the layers panel, and don't forget the character panel. Once you're set up, you can start by selecting the rectangle tool from your toolbar to create the background for your design. Simply click anywhere on your artboard, set the width to 1310 and the height to 820. Click OK to create this new shape. Select the stroke and remove the color. And then move to the control panel. Make sure that the alignment is set to artboard and simply click these two buttons to easily center your shape. Let's download this heart and brain illustration. Double click the file that you get to open it in Illustrator. Use the direct selection tool to select this shape and delete it. Do the same for this one. And then use the selection tool to select the remaining group of shapes and press Ctrl C to copy it. Now you can press Ctrl and W to close this document, return to your original document, and press Ctrl V to paste this illustration. Click again these two buttons to move your group in the center of the artboard, lower the opacity of this group to 10%, and then reselect this white rectangle, press Ctrl C to copy it, and then Ctrl Shift and V to add a copy on top of your entire design. Let's move to the appearance panel to edit this new shape. Start by selecting this fill and replace the white with black. Remember to change the blending mode of this fill to color and then add a second fill for this shape using this button. Keep this new fill selected. Replace the color with 236, 0 and 140. Change the blending mode of this new fill to overlay and then add one more fill using this same button. For this one, change the color back to black. Remember to change the blending mode to overlay and lower the opacity to 75% and then go to Effect, Texture and Texturizer. Select Canvas for the texture and Top for the light. Make sure that the scaling is set to 100% and the relief to 30 and then you can click OK to apply this effect. Return to the appearance panel to reselect this top fill and go to Effect, Artistic and Paint Dobs. Select Simple for the brush type, set the brush size to 8 and the sharpness to 10, click OK to apply the second effect. Return to the Appearance panel to reselect this top fill and go one more time to Effect Artistic, but this time select Film Grain. For this effect, drag the sliders to 20, 0 and 10 and click OK to apply this final effect. Now that you've got your background, let's add the text. Select the Type tool from your toolbar and focus on the character panel where you will set the settings for the text that you're about to add. Select that fiber font which you got from Envato Elements, set the size to 300, the tracking to 100 and the leading to 250 and then just click on your artboard to type in head, 
press enter to move to the second row and type in heart. Now you can press the escape key to easily switch to the selection tool. Move your text roughly in the center of the artboard, somewhat like this. And when you're done, you need to go to the control panel to remove the current text color and click this button to add a new fill for your text. Keep it selected and let's replace the color with 46, 50 and 147. Change the blending mode of this fill to hard light and then add a second fill for your text using this same button. For this one, set the color to 236, 0 and 140. Drag it below this other fill, keep it selected and go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. All you have to do is drag this Move Horizontal slider to minus 10, which will move your selected fill 10 pixels to the left. Click OK to apply this effect and return to the appearance panel to add one more fill on top of the existing fills. Change the color of this new fill to black, lower the opacity to 50% and change the blending mode to soft light and then go to effect, artistic and film grain. Keep these settings as they come, click OK to apply this effect and now let's add one more piece of text using the type tool. First of all, lower the font size to 60 and then you can click on your artboard to type in over. Again, press the escape key to switch to the selection tool. Move your text roughly around this area. Remember to remove the current text color and then move to the layers panel. Hold down the R key, click this target icon and drag it on top of your second piece of text to easily transfer the appearance settings from this text to this smaller one. For the final touch, let's make a small adjustment to this style. Make sure that your text is selected, move to the appearance panel and open the transform effect that's applied for this button fill. Set this move horizontal slider to minus 5 pixels, click OK. And that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it lets me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. I'm Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.